what I'm on. Ducking these haters, man, that's what I'm on. Keeping it clear, man, that's what I'm on. That's what I'm on. That's what I'm on. Keeping it solid, man, that's what I'm on. Flipping my quality, man, that's what I'm on. Pull it in, rocket, man, that's what I'm on. That's what I'm on. That's what I'm on. Stacking my paper, man, that's what I'm on. Ducking these haters, man, that's what I'm on. Keeping it clear, man, that's what I'm on. That's what I'm on. That's what I'm on. Keeping it solid, man, that's what I'm on. Flipping my quality, man, that's what I'm on. Pull it in, rocket, man, that's what I'm on. That's what I'm on. That's what I'm on. Yeah, I be on some other shit. Came up from nothing hustling. Y'all boys on this sucker shit. Out here begging in the suffering. I ain't asking for no handouts. Hit the streets and got them bands out. Been trill, yeah, I been bout it. Gang sour, had to rewrite it. Bigger, bigger, bigger cars, bigger houses, better cush, more thousands. Stand down, stand true. Keep these fuck niggas from round me. Lame niggas wanna down me. Man, but you bitch wanna crown me. What up, YouTube? Man, we back on this damn Challenger. Man, this car has been here way too long, man. Way, way too long. It's uh, two days after Christmas. I work Christmas Eve, so I took yesterday off, which is the day after Christmas since I work Christmas Eve. So here it is, Friday the 27th. And, dude, the only thing that's holding me up on this car is riveting all of this shit back together. See, I got a rivet sitting up, standing up right there. Well, it's supposed to be a rivet. Oh, here they go. Here go one on this side. All right. If you're familiar with these challenges, then you know everything across this front, which just got to come back down some, everything across this front is rivet in, which I got 14 rivets from the factory. But... I bought two rivet guns. This one I already had. It don't work. I bought a red and black one, which I don't see it. I probably got mad and threw it. And I just got this one this morning. It was between this one and Harbor Freight or the big industrial one. Now, the only reason why I got this one is because the rivets that comes with this one are plastic and it's the same rivets as the factory so i figure hey they got to be the same so let's see if it works so let's try it out and see what youtube this bitch work man thank god man we can go on and get this lady back in her car watch this bam don't you love that? Yeah. Damn. Should have got this one. I saw this one. It was between this one and that red and black one. I bought the red and black one. And I couldn't take it back. Because like I said, I can't find it. I have no clue where the hell is it. And I need to clean up my shop. But then I was stuck between this one. And I had a big... Um, blue one that they call the industrial rivet but it was only a four dollar difference this one was sixteen dollars the other one was was twenty dollars so um like i said the only reason why i went with this one is because the same plastic rivets match the ones i already got so and uh good judgment because it actually worked otherwise i was gonna be taking this back and going to get the twenty dollar one so all right you guys let me go ahead and rivet all this thing all the way around so I can put in this other headlight because the headlight bolts was lost in the wreck. So I had to get three new headlight bolts for the passenger side. So we're going to rivet this up. We're going to put that headlight in. Then we're going to bolt this bumper up. And then we're going to put the hood on and we're going to start prepping it for paint so we can paint it today. So let's do it. All right, you two. We got everything, um, we got everything riveted. Boom. Boom. <coughs> Excuse me. Got the one right here. Got the one right here in the corner. So we got this little rubber flap. Pull it all out. Uh, there you go. 
And we got this little rubber flap. It's all riveted. Besides this one, this one is on my desk. But all the way around, man, this is the factory rivets, the same color rivets. And everything is rivet in, rivet in like it's factory. One thing about me, I'm very picky about how a car go back together, which is a lot of reasons why a lot of my employees don't last because I'm a firm believer that if it don't come from the dealership that way, it shouldn't leave out my shop that way. Meaning, it came from the factory riveted. That means it needs to leave my shop the same way. I didn't have employees that would have took self-tapping screws, black screws, and screwed it all the way around. It didn't come from Dodge with self-tapping screws. So why the fuck do we leave here with self-tapping screws? So that's just me, man. I've been like that for a long time. And um, hiring a lot of employees over the years, man, it's just I always end up being back by myself like I am now. So it is what it is. So, all right, now we've got everything riveted. I'm going to run to my office and get this last rivet so we can put this headlight on and put this bumper on. So, let's get it. What up, YouTube? Um, make this short and sweet. As y'all can hear me, I'm losing my voice. And the longer I talk, the faster it go away. So, um, <clears throat> we back on the Challenger. What I'm going to do is I'm going to prop the camera up and uh, give you guys a time lapse of me taping up the Challenger and getting it ready for paint um, and then also clean up all this mess over here so um, this is where we at I don't remember where I left you guys off at but you know this is where we at so um, I'm gonna prop you guys up and um, you guys can watch the time lapse of me getting it ready taping it up for paint so all right, we'll be back.
All right, YouTube. Like I said, man, I'm going to try to make it short and sweet because I'm losing my voice. Um, I would go ahead and bag it, but I'm out of razors. So um, I still got to tape the top portion, and I got to tape the bottom grill and uh, bag it. And then we'll be ready to clean it off and paint it. Uh, also, I got to sand the hood with 800. Uh, only sand at this area because of the bodywork area. So when I get back, we're going to take those plastic pieces out, sand the hood with 800, tape up that, tape up the bottom, and um, bag it. And we can go straight to paint. So uh, that's what I'm going to go get now. I gotta go get some um, some paint. I gotta get some razors, and I gotta get some primer so I can prime that. So, um, all right, you two. See y'all when I get back. All right, YouTube, y'all can see I turned the car around. It made more sense to paint it in the light versus in the dark. So, had a little brain fart for a minute. But anyway, um, I'm finna go ahead and bag it and uh, finish taping up the little bit that we got to tape up. Scuff up, scuff it real good. Then we're gonna start painting. So, let me set you guys up. And uh, we're going to time lapse this. Then we're going to go on and get painted. All right, YouTube. Man, after many, many hours of playing with this, it kept burning. I kept priming it, sanding it, priming it, sanding it. I even wet sanded it, and I couldn't stop it from burning. So, I ended up having to go get some self-etching primer, and it finally stopped burning. So, now we can clean it off and move to paint. Oh, finally. Let me put y'all on this time lapse.
What up, YouTube? Man, I know y'all gonna cuss me out because I wasn't using a mask, which is the reason why I'm not clearing it. Uh, paint is not that bad, but clear is the worst thing you can put on your body. Um, the same thing it does to the car. It hardens, it get hard, it does it on your lungs to the point where you up coughing all night, coughing that shit up out your body, but paint don't really do that. Uh, it's all a chemical, it's all harmful, but paint is not as bad as clear. So um, you can actually paint a car and go home and go to sleep, but clear, there's no fucking way. But anyway. I know you guys gonna cuss me out for not using the respirator, but like I said, that's the reason why I'm not clearing the car tonight. I meant to buy one to earlier today, but uh, I forgot. So I'm gonna pick up one in the morning, and we're gonna come in here and clear it in the morning. So uh, everything is nice and even. Looks good. So it's after midnight. So let's take it in. See y'all tomorrow. All right, y'all, we back. Uh, just not leaving Harbor Freight, picking up my paint mask. Uh, it's not the one I normally use. I usually, I normally use the 3M, but uh, I woke up too late and the paint store was already closed. So, um, so I went on and got this one. So, we're going to head to the shop, we're going to clear the Challenger, and then uh, later on tonight, we'll come back, untape it, get it ready for detail in the morning, let it get picked up in the morning, then i edit this video together, and upload it on YouTube, so uh, see y'all when we get to the shop. What up, YouTube? <laughs> yeah, I know, y'all mad. I didn't get me clearing this car. Mainly, this is my little prop stand for this camera. Uh, let me turn this light on. Let me turn this light on. All right. This right here is my prop stand for this camera. I fold it back and I prop it up until my stand can come in. This is one of my old cameras that I've been using. Man, this camera I've been using since, um, since I did that red challenger, I think that's when I bought this I think that's when I bought this uh this camera. That's when I did that red challenger. So, um But yeah. We got it done, got it cleared. The main reason why I didn't record clearing it because it's gonna be sitting right here and I'm clearing right here. And I didn't want my lenses to get uh overspray on them so i just didn't record the um the clearance so it's the next day is sunday december 5th uh, i'm supposed to be uploading this video today but uh, it's probably gonna be a late upload so what we're gonna do now is put the wiring harness into the corner lights untape it and uh, put the little plastic that goes right here and pull it outside and see what it looks like. Um, and then go from there. So, see you guys in a minute. Yeah. Alright, YouTube. Um, the car is not going to be, um, be done today. Um, <sighs> so... I know you guys are going to hate this, but I'm going to have to push this video back to next Sunday. Mainly because I don't like it. It might, it might, I might have to push it up into a, to like a Monday upload. I'm not sure yet. Mainly because I'm not comfortable with this car leaving. Everything else came out slick as shit. But I didn't see this when I left. But... You might not can't see it, but it's a lot of little small little imperfections on this whole side of the hood. And if I stand here in the corner of the light, see it's hard to get it on camera. That's why a lot of these paint jobs that you guys see on YouTube and 
picture is they look A1 because the cameras can't show up the imperfections until you see them in person. But anyway, this fender is slick as shit. I can't even deny that. This side is slick, a stale snail sperm. But that side is like from here over. It's just all has some type of chemical reaction. It's a whole lot of rough spots all up in here. And there's one here. You, know, you guys can see that, yeah. That's all in the paint. So, what we're going to do is we're going to tape off here, here, and we're going to repaint this top panel along with the hood. And then we're going to try again in the morning. So, um, that's what we're going to do. So, damn. All right, YouTube. You know, we got to fix it. You know? you know, like I said in the previous clips, it didn't come from a dealership like that. Man, this down here is sperm, snail sperm slick. This fender is snail sperm slick. I don't understand it. This side of the hood. It's snail, sperm, slick. No issues. But you get right up in this area. And right up in this area. And it's all fucked up. <sighs> Alright, man. Ain't no point of just talking about it. Let's go on and get this shit over with. Alright, YouTube. Uh, I done pretty much outlined it. What I am going to do is go ahead and put the wire harness on and put the corner lights in so I don't have to do that tomorrow. So when I come in tomorrow, I should be able to just untape it, get it detailed, and she should come get it tomorrow, which is Monday. Um, what I'm going to do is is what a little trick called a buff blend. So I'm going to take a thousand grit sandpaper. Or, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm going to take about 1,200 sandpaper, 1,500 sandpaper, and I'm going to sand this right here. And I'm going to sand right up in here. All right. I'm going to bring my tape line down to here, and I'm going to stop it off to here. But I'm still going to go a little bit past here. When I clear it, my clear is going to stop, like, right up in here. Same thing on this side. It's going to stop right up in here, which is right here also. So, when the clear dries, when I come in tomorrow, all I got to do is 1,200 again, 1,200 again, take my mini buffer and buff it out. And that's what we call a buff blend or however you, people sure pretty people call it different things but uh, a lot of people like to take reducer and half it with clear and burn it in that's 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 not me I don't like doing it that way because sometimes it works sometimes it don't so I just prefer the buff method so I don't have to redo this whole bumper so um, that's what we're going to do and we almost got it all the way outlined so we can start sanding we don't want to accidentally slip off the hood and sand this perfectly painted fender or that fender right there so we got it outlined and now we're going to start sanding it and prepping this right here for paint and then i'm going to put the side marker lights in so um see you guys in a minute i'm gonna stand you guys up when we get to the good part uh this is just some little small shit right now so see y'all in a minute what up youtube back sanding it down I just realized what I did this right here must had some type of cleaning or some cleaner in it because when I was fixing this and I kept burning and I had to go get the edge primer I had some some areas that was in in this bumper that wouldn't come out so I took some wax and grease remover and used this to clean it out. And I also cleaned this side out, but I never touched this side with this tile. So I think it was something in here that made it all fisheye and chemical react. So when I looked over, it was sitting right here on my cart. 
And I'm like, damn, that's what I used last. So, it fish died on me. So, uh, when I get through, I'm going to get some um, blue paper towels. And we're going to wipe it off the right way, the correct way. And I'm um, going to repaint this thing. I called myself smelling this. And it didn't smell like it had any type of wax or cleaning chemical. But, hey. It could have been soaked into the towel to where I couldn't smell it. But anyway, all right, let's finish sanding this hood down and this front front top for the bumper. And we can go ahead and paint this thing and get up out of here. YouTube uh, man came out a hundred percent better as y'all can see you don't see no type of orange peel marks the spot that was right here is all gone all the orange peel that was in there is all gone so I ended up having to Setting it all out with 180 and then priming it, but um, it's out so all right, YouTube. Um, I'm sorry, um, we didn't get a chance to uh post the today video, but um, it's going to be posted tomorrow, and um. You guys see why this little bit right here will cause us just cleaning the surface off with this not knowing microfiber caused us a day behind so but hey it is what it is so um see you guys tomorrow when we get ready to untape it and um get it detailed and all that good stuff so Lucy glass. Straight slick. Alright YouTube, we'll be back. What up YouTube? It's Monday afternoon, about twelve. Uh finna go ahead and unmask this car. Put the um side marker lights in and um put the little plastic pieces in, put the plastic piece across the point of the hood. Get it detailed, um, do last little many things, and she can come get it. So, uh, I'm gonna sit you guys on the time lapse and uh, I'm just gonna just go in, just get as much as I can get done until either the camera go dead, the battery go dead, or we run out of footage, run out of room to save video. So, here we go. What up YouTube? It's Tuesday. 
I know I was supposed to post a video yesterday, but I couldn't get a detailer out of here yesterday to detail it. So uh, today, I got it all the way done, 100%. So I just sanded out the line that was there. I see a little small line I need to sand out right here. Sanding out the line on this side. Now, I need to get my mini buffer. I'm going to buff it all out, buff, buff, buff the, the little blend out. And then we're going to pull it outside. And then uh, we're going to get a detailer. She just texted me and said that if I couldn't get a detailer today, she will just take it as is, which I hate. So, uh, what we're going to do is when I get it outside, I give you guys a walk around in the sun. And... Um, if the detailer shows up, I give you guys a video after it's been detailed. If it don't, the video that I post outside will be the last video, and I will edit it all together and upload it tonight. So, um, it all depends on if if I get a detail out here. So, I'm going to go ahead and buff these little spots out. We're going to buff that out. We're going to pull it outside and uh, get a walk around and... Uh, I'm at least clean the windows. I got some Windex here, so I'm at least wipe off the windows before she get it, and try to wipe it down with a with a um, um, a spray detailer. Like you go to the car show and you spray the detailer, you type the wipe the microfiber and wipe it off. So if they don't come, then I'm at least spray it down like that. Uh, mainly because at this shop I don't have a outside water ho water hose. So I don't have nowhere where I can put a water hose so I can wash it myself. Otherwise, I'll wash it myself. So, um, but yeah, that's where we at. All right, YouTube, I'm going to stand you up and we're going to buff these little corners and then we're going to pull it outside. See y'all in a minute. All right, YouTube, got it outside. Like I said, it's dirty. I did find a detailer. He is on the way as we speak. So, uh, hopefully, he'll be here in a minute. So, I give you guys uh, afterwards after he washes and details and put you know the tire shine on the tires and all of that. So, uh, I give you guys a. Uh, walk around in so alright we'll be here in a minute what up YouTube man we are officially done with the wreck challenger it's been fully detailed cleaned inside and out by my boy Kerwin Anderson I think it's I think it's VB or VD detailing I'm not sure he watches my YouTube video so man if I said it wrong man Comment and, and give them the right name. I think it's VB Detailer. But uh, last minute, he came out here and killed it for me. I called him and he showed up like within man, 15, 20 minutes to knock it out. So, shout out to him. So, we got it done. Now, just waiting on the customer to come. Like I said, we got inside and out. My guy killed it. So. Alright, YouTube. Subscribe and see what I do next.